Hi everyone. Uh, well, uh, good to see you. And I want to talk about using Last Planner system and building information modeling to managing construction projects in Iran and lesson learned for developing countries. Uh, first of all, let me introduce myself to you. Uh, I am, my name is Kambis Kordani. Uh, I am planning and logistic and project control manager at Shetop Car Company, SKC. And uh, I was former planning and project control manager at Iran Khodr Machine Tools Industry, IKMT. Uh, I am also PMP certification and master educated in industrial engineering and management at University of Tehran. I am also being consultant for more than five years and uh, also Autodesk Navis Works and Synchro Pro instructor for more than four years in Alavipur Construction and Engineering Management Institute for more than four years. And uh, I am also certified trainer at Mojtam Afani Tehran and more than 10 years work experience in construction and automotive industry. Well, um, you know, um, let me describe something to you. Um, you, you, you all know about the construction manager, but construction management uh, is a practice of professional management applied to planning, design and construction projects from inception to completion. And, uh, you know, the purpose of achieving project objectives, including meeting all time, scope, cost and quality goals. Well, um, from the researchers, um, you know, the, some researchers uh, search from the failures of construction companies. And, you know, the, the NAPATL in 2007 make research that and uh, he find that. Uh, 27,536 construction companies, all of which were started in 1998, over 7% of them had gone out of business seven years later. And, you know, since 1988, the construction industry has experienced a higher than average business failure rate compared to the failure rate of all businesses. And you can see the chart below the percent of companies surviving uh, in the you know, Napital uh, research. And uh, in 2002, two of Japan's largest construction companies and Germany's second largest construction company filed for bankruptcy. And, you know, uh, according to Associated Press in 2002, uh, as you see that large and small, old and new, domestic and foreign construction companies are among the statistics of failed construction companies, um, according to Peterson uh, book in 2013. And you can see the pie chart below about the business failure by age. And you can see that 29% of uh, you know, businesses failed after 6 to 10 years. And also, 39% um, you know, go out of business after uh, 10 years. Well, um, you know, in Iran, we have, uh, uh, you know, special circumstances. And, um, you know, during some researches in Iran as a developing country, uh, you know, according to the Office for Supervision and Evaluation of Designs, Iranian government reports prepared in 2006, uh, they find that 68.1% of projects experience delay in construction projects and final cost of projects in 2000, uh, you know, 7.3, uh, 70.3% per, 70 higher than initial estimations. In 2001, 60% higher than initial estimations. Uh, and in 2002, uh, 60, 67.6 higher than initial in estimations and it's uh, you know really blow up mind uh, and it's you know you you should think about that in some developing countries like Iran with you know such uh, these kind of experiences well uh in Iran for the machine tool industry, we decided to implement some techniques to avoid these uh, kind of, uh, you know, delays and these kind of methods. And I want to describe you a case study 
and um, you know um, we uh, searched about benefits of lean uh, thanks to Mr. Montague's webinars in uh, Ireland. Uh, that was really impressive for me. Uh, well, you know, uh, benefits of lean are you know you all know about it. Um, it's um, you know a safer, fewer incident and injuries, faster, finished earlier with lower cost, higher productivity, less waste, less rework, and less stress on participants and far more satisfied stakeholder. And we find uh, the method last planner system as you know it, and you can see the pyramid of last planner system from milestone schedule, pool planning, make ready planning, weekly work planning and learning. And, you know, this method really uh, turned uh, our alerts on uh, to bring some, um, you know, um, some new technique to improve our uh, construction projects uh, in our um, company. And, you know, uh, we find some fellow shirt and uh, adapt it to our company and, you know, the project objectives and uh, you, you can see all the flow charts in, uh, you know, one uh, <laughs> slide. And, you know, last planner uh, system planning process uh, make adapt for the, for our project. And, you know, uh, we find weekly work planning for one project and we bring some lesson learned from this project and uh, write it down. Well, you know, if we start from a master schedule, then phase a schedule, then look at the schedule and um, we... Um, you know, uh, bring some board into the company and for the last planners. And uh, after that, uh, we find the primary function of last planner system. You know, the primary function of last planner system is the collaborative planning process that involve last planners. Uh, well, uh, for planning in greater detail as a team get closer to doing the works. Moreover, last planner system incorporates pool scheduling, whereby only the work that can be done is promised by last planners in weekly work plan meeting, as opposed to conventional. Well, uh, you know, in developing countries like Iran, you know, we have a lot of challenges, and uh, you know, we bring these techniques to um, cope with these challenges. Uh, well, uh, where the book that should be done is planned in weekly meeting and emphasis on entering a master schedule. And um, the COVID construct online says an integral part of last minute system that can apply to take a proactive approach to problem solving as a reason of this method. Well, after that, you know, uh, one of the... Um, one of the best things and uh, one of the important things that we can achieve from the last planner system is action to prevent repetitive errors. Well, uh, and um, another technique that we bring it to our project, to our construction project, was BIM, building information modeling. You know, you can, uh, you all know about the benefits of BIM, improved building design, information streamlining, integration of workflow, accurate cost estimating, and uh, blah, 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 and something like that. Um, we all know about these benefits and, uh, you know, these, these kind of benefits about the building information modeling and last planner system make us and, uh, you know, some kind of uh, make us to uh, implement it in our projects. Well, uh, we uh, implemented link construction and building information modeling. Uh, well, the architectural engineering and construction industry strongly affects the economy, the environment and society as a whole. Well, um, you know, um, however, when we compare to other industries, construction industry to other industries, its productivity over recent decades has been very low. Well, currently the AEC industry is undergoing major changes, mostly driven by the implementation of BIM and the integration of new technology. 
when coupling these, uh, you know, some kind of um, lean principles, there is a potential to improve the productivity and efficiency of construction projects. Also, lean construction and building information monitoring are approaches with quite different, you know, uh, initiatives. Both have a profound impact on the industry. Well, uh, many studies have shown the advantage of the last planner system, yet its integration with beam technology has not been fully uh, exploited. You know, the last planner system of production control uh, is a continuous improvement. Um, and, you know, by capitalizing on the synergies between link construction and building information modern projects to improve productivity and also reduce construction waste. Well, um, you know, the prototype tool is mainly aimed uh, to be used as a construction management tool during the construction phase from pre-design to post-construction phases. And the tool allows dividing construction prices into work zones, obtaining a fully automated quantity takeoff, uh, you know, and it's one of the benefits of uh, building information modeling and offers a color coded for the construction simulation of for the short term planning forces of the last planner system. It allows for systemic evaluation and analysis of the short term planning process, which promote continuous improvement of future construction planning. And uh, in the uh, you know uh, flow charts at the right hand side of the slide, you can see uh, how we can implement last planner systems. Well, um, we use a six weeks look ahead, uh, and uh, this um, six weeks look ahead plan bridge the gap between long term project planning and short term executive planning, and the frequency of the planning is weekly and. We implement this uh, method to our, uh, you know, uh, project. Well, um, as you can see uh, in this uh, chart, we have long-term and short-term planning, and um, you know these are short-term and long-term planning. Um, it's, um, you know, it's from last planner system and. When we use long-term and short-term planning with building information modeling, it is integrating last planner workflow with BIM. And it uh, can cause eliminating waste, enhancing productivity, increasing planning reliability, and model planning, visualization, and evaluation, and also continuous learning and improvement. So let me um, bring some speed for the um, you know slides because I want to um, show you the case study in Iran and, and the challenges that we uh, cope with and uh, it's uh, had a lot of lesson learned for you. Well, uh, you can uh, you know when we want to implement a last planner system. Uh, really, it's a beam-based last plan system to objectives. Our objectives are eliminating waste through quantity takeoff, construction zoning. Uh, our objective is enhancing productivity by construction productivity factor and, um, you know, some kind of uh, efficient uh, productivity factors, increasing planning reliability with model and task information, model planning visualization and evaluation, with 4D construction simulation and also 5D construction simulation and continuous learning improvement. Well, uh, you know, uh, the project that we bring these two techniques in this was Peach Dozen Company establishment in Batsir, Kerman, Iran. The project scope was uh, $39 million. Uh, and I, uh, you know, exchange it to dollar because our currency is Tuman, uh, including part five, six, seven of acid structure and architecture design for the project. Well, design assist was general contractor and subcontractors are bored at design definition phase. The beam scope was design coordination, class detection, and work sequencing and file sharing. Uh, with Autodesk Navis Works Manage used as a common platform, and also we use Tecla structure for structures, uh, structures, shop drawing aims, and also Architect uh, for Architect Archicad uh, from one of our subcontractor for the architectural design. 
Well, beam cost to projects uh, was eighty eighty thousand dollar, uh, and you know zero point two percent of project budgets uh, allocated to the beam cost, uh, and uh, thirty six thousand dollar paid by the owner, and the cost benefit for us was uh, eight hundred thousand dollar attributed to elimination of clashes. And, uh, you know, the schedule benefit for us was about 1,143 hours saved by the project. So, um, you know, uh, these two techniques brings uh, some benefits for us. The contractor created 3D models of the architectural, structural, and MEP systems of the proposed building mechanical, electric current piping. Uh, well, uh, you know, uh, these models were created during the design development phase using detailed level of information from some contractors based on drawing from designers and, uh, you know, delivery process and eliminated the potential risk that is often associated with the open sharing of digital model across stakeholders using the developed models, the project team achieving the following benefits. Well, proactively identify 590 completes between a structural and MEP components and resolve them prior to field installation. And design coordination enhanced, additional cost increase avoided, and uh, it let us enable owner to view revisions without issuing change order. And you know, um, in some countries like Elon and some developing countries, change order really, really um, claim the project and uh, you know bring a lot of dispute between. Uh, owners and subcontractors and you know general contractors and main contractors and also AEC and uh, it brings us uh, accommodated design changes um, you can see some of the uh, picture of the project and I skip it and you can um, see the uh, pictures of the project and it's um, uh, a view of the Navis works model for the project and I uh, bring it forward. Well, um, one of the great, uh, great lesson learned uh, for us in the project, uh, when we want to using last planner system and building information modeling in developing countries, uh, these are some kind of challenges that we uh, face with it, that we were faced with it for the project, you know? Um, when we want to beam implementation, child, uh, beam, beam implementation, uh, we, um, you know, uh, face with a lot of challenges. Um, one of the, mm, one of the most important things when you want to implement building information modeling in developing countries is time needed for hiring and training people to use BIM. You know, training is uh, really important in developing countries because, um, you know, owners are uh, rich. They just rich and uh, they, um, they do not uh, have some knowledge about it and they uh, ignore some people like construction management as a consultant. And uh, they just reach, you should uh, try to in, uh, yeah, well, in, in, incentive them. And, uh, you know, in developing countries like Iran, we have a copyright protection for ownership of data. You know, data is really um, um, cycle between the uh, owner, subcontractors and contractors. And, you know, lack of businesses desire to change to BIM is one of the challenges that we uh, were faced throughout the project. And, you know, uh, the boarding court, who is responsible for maintaining and updating the model, is another uh, challenge that we were faced. And more time needed to send and receive back files between a stakeholder is another lesson learned and another challenge for us for implementation, for implementing BIM. Well, uh, you know, the last planner system implementation challenges, including lack of training, you know, uh, people uh, don't train about, uh, you know, last planner system, don't know anything about last planner system. So 
you should um, you know um, build some workshops for uh, last planners first of all and um, the I think in my opinion uh, I think the most important challenges that you will face uh, you know uh, based on repetition of uh, mistaken partial implementation of last planner system and late implementation of last planner system is really challenging for us and organizational inertia and resistance to change you know everybody everybody uh, say that this is how I've always done it and um, you know uh, the change thinking uh, people resist to change <laughs> and this attitude really uh, was a bottle on the neck and bad team chemistry and lack of collaboration is another challenge that we uh, face in uh, beam implementation. Well, um, to uh, cut long story short, as a conclusion, well, you know, each beam implementation, each beam and lean implementation only solve a part of the problem. Well, and, um, you know, implementation, lean and beam, expose the team to more exceptional experiences, frustrations, and also opportunities for improvement and lesson learned. Well, first, lean requires sharp facilitator leadership and other soft skills uh, that will allow motivation and encouragement to change the team's mindset towards new ways of working. Apart from that, the reverse first scheduling pool system that has come to closely associated with lean production is not always the best alternatives. Well, especially in lean construction pilot projects. Well, on the contrary, the, se the selection of the best method should depend on each stage of project so that applied methods are mixed push planning system as it happens in the present, uh, you know, uh, in our case study. Well, the second thing is that if BIM tools are not properly implemented and managed through the project, they can make a process more difficult and unstable. Well, the availability of the technical expertise will encourage BIM adaptation in construction companies. And, you know, you should implement it uh, completely in the project. And once you uh, partially implement the BIM, uh, it's uh, caused a lot of um, challenges for you in, you know, some countries like Iran. And third is the contract and the business execution plan were aimed to gain the best result for the pilot projects. However, to have these results, it is uh, you know, important to consider the designs, contractors, skills, and capabilities uh, through the project. You know, um, some designers and subcontractors have not enough capability for implementing building information modeling and other stakeholder. And, you know, regarding lesson learned for construction, com you know, uh, in uh, Iran Photo Machine Tools company, as a construction companies in Iran, is starting the implementation, uh, when we want to start the implementation, the building information modeling, um, your company should develop a maturity assessment before the implementation in order to benchmark their present capabilities and allow the company to plan for the future. Uh, and maturity assessment is a vital, um, you know, part of implementing and building information modeling and last planner system. Well, uh, thank you for um, your uh, consideration. And um, I, um, you know, try to uh, share some of the lessons learned and uh, some real lessons learned that we face uh, in our countries uh, as a developing countries in Iran that, um, you know, you can um, use it for your projects, uh, especially in developing countries. So uh, if you have any question, I'm all here.